In this video, we will add the icon button as I told you. Now that we have the column, we can add multiple widgets inside and it will work. So by example, if we add the widget that we want, the icon button. So this will be an icon that will be as well a button at the same time. So we will use this one, the purple square icon button with the, the parentheses, click on it. And then this will need an argument called icon and an argument called unpressed. Each argument are separated by the comma, as you can see. Perfect. Let's replace the icon, the null icon. Double click, you remove the null and we will put it. Uh, if we go over icon, you can see that this is a widget, but we have a widget called the icon to display some icon. So we will use it icon and then you select this one. Here we go. And inside you need to tell Flutter which icon will be in the icon widget. So you say icons dot, and then you select the widget that you want. So we will select this one. So the add box, and you can select any widget that you want. You will click on it. And then if we go in the app, we can see that the bottom is right here. So right under this one, because this is a column and have multiple widgets, one after the other. You cannot click on it because the unpressed is null. So if we solve this, double click on null, this will select the, the value, you remove, and we will put an empty function as I told you in the previous video. So this, the empty function is the parenthesis with the curly bracket after. This will give us an empty function. Now, if we go right here, we can see that this is a button. Okay, let's display something when we click on it. You remember the function called print? Print like that, with a min, uh, not a capital, but print just like that. You click on this one, and the object, if you remember, object can take anything. So we will remove this one, and we will add a string, so a text value. So we will write the bracket, and then we will say, uh, by example, pizzeria. Perfect. And then if you can see the little error, if you go over, expect to find a semicolon. Okay, easy. And the easy the semicolon will be after the print. So this is the print with the parentheses blue. You add this semicolon. Now, if we go on the app and we press on the button, here we go. Pizzeria is appear on the debug console. This is looking good. Now we can right click, format document, and now this will display the code better. Okay, uh, last thing is the, we have two parentheses, one after the other. We can add the comma between, and if we redo the right click, format document, this will place like that. Okay. Super, now we have this button that when we click on it, display something on the screen, pizzeria. But what we will do instead is use this button to display a number on the screen. And the number will be bigger every time we click on it, like the first app we had, but now we will build it ourselves. So see you on the next video. Bye.